All right, I'm welcome back for the episode of Carnivore Trades. Today is Monday, September 25th, 2023. If you've not done so already, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Come find me on carnivoretrades.com for swing trading alerts and analysis. Anyways, let's get into it today here. So markets managing to scratch out a, a decent gain. So spiders and cues up about 40, 40 uh, just under half percent, we'll call it. The Dow did finish up 12 base points. Russell finishing up, I think, about a third of percent or so. Um, I don't think this is the greatest bounce. So, again, I talked about this on Twitter. Um, you know, if this was a bottom, I know we got the gap down, but, you know, you kind of pulled back here. And then it took you like four hours, basically. And I'm going to switch over to the SPX. Um, it took you four hours to get above this breakdown. Right, so that was the big level we were talking about last week. Um, we did close above it, you know, so that is, you can't take that away, but um, if usually when you put in a low, you're gonna V-shape first thing in the morning or you get like a 20, 30 minute flush um, and then you V-shape and um, you know, you get above this pivot here and then you can consolidate and then put in another push up. Um, that's really not what we saw. Yeah, we did close at the highs of the day, but this just doesn't look very strong. To me, it looks like, um, kind of going over to the RSI here. It just looks like we're working off an oversold condition. Um, so to me, bear is still in control. Um, yeah, we closed above this pivot, but I mean, you close below it on a weekly close Friday. Um, so to me, I just don't see a ton of strength here again. If it was going to be a big V-shaped move, we would have seen that this morning. That said, you know, we close above the pivot. I can't rule out 434 tomorrow. There's your little neckline there on that pattern. Um, but I just don't see a ton of strength here. Um, so markets here, you know, I would have preferred as a bull, and I tweeted about this as well, I would have preferred um, just a rollover here. Close down at 4,300. Um, then you can gap down and get into this trend line area. Now you can put in a real, real good low, especially you get that you know, the VIX to really surge. Yeah, the VIX did uptick and then it came back in. But I mean, it opened at the highs and came right down. It's not like um, it's not like it opened and then went higher. You know, we didn't get we didn't really have any sort of panic here. Um, I'm just not seeing that yet. So for me, I, I think bulls, you really. I think you're kind of doing it a service by buying that dip. I think this just looks like bear control. Um, but again, can't rule out 434 back test. Heck, maybe even up to that 100 period moving average. But kind of looking at the spiders here if we look over to the triple q's you know this is starting to look it's early but could be kind of bear flag type look here you can see a little bit better on the nq as well um big down move inside bar and kind of a dead cat so far could that change tomorrow yeah i mean could they you know could they gap us up above yesterday's or friday's high and really take us up here well that's certainly possible if that happens um then things could change we could probably squeeze a little bit higher but i'm not really seeing that right now to me it looks a lot more like a bear flag than anything if you look at the russell here too this is a big gap fill and we went into it we did finish off the lows almost up a half a percent but i mean like this is not you know like if this is strong this should be up here by the end of the day like it should really negate this this whole you know sell off there um and we closed kind of like we closed below friday's high that's for sure um and it almost rolled over and went negative at one point you can see here on the intraday it just tested the flat line so not the greatest um i just not convinced here that there's a strong low in place even though the market did finish green dow up 42 cents holding the 200 you know again could this retest 343 certainly can that would be your breakdown area we'll watch for that over the next couple of days but my kind of lean right now is i do i am looking for a bounce um i just don't think we saw a low today i could be wrong but i would have liked to have seen a little bit more of a flush there um and a more robust rally throughout the day um not a lot of economic data today. Actually, I don't think there was any. I think there's a little bit tomorrow. I think we have home sales. Um, and I believe some consumer sentiment. I'm not sure. But in any case, we'll take a look at the markets tomorrow. But watch that 434 area. That should be resistance there on the spiders. And um, again, they had that, you know, 
been watching the gamma every day. They've been sitting on 4,300. We haven't gotten to it. We got down to 4,302. I thought we were finally going to get there today. Um, but they keep that level open. I do think they want to satisfy that. And again, if we continue chopping down in this area here, we're going to gamma through that. Um, so again, that's why I kind of said today, I'd prefer the bulls to just blow through it or the bears to blow through it. You get really oversold, then tomorrow you gap down, then you can then you can slingshot, right? Um, but we're not seeing that right now. And um, again, just be careful in this market. I just don't think there's quite a low just yet. Um, another thing, semiconductors, again, up a dollar today on the SMH, cl still close below 143. But again, just like the NQ, down move, you're starting to bear flag here. You need to get out of this range. Oh, but you know, this stays below 143. It's not going to be a good look. So that is a sign of weakness. It's a big sign of weakness for technology and the market. IGV closing down seven cents. That was on the weak side today. It still has a lot of support here. Um, but again, down move starting, you know, it's immature, but starting to potentially put in bearish consolidation. If that happens, this support will become minor and then you can go lower. So just be careful here with tech. Um, Dow Transports, that did have a decent day up a third or excuse me, up three quarters of a percent still below that 100 ma um, i still think this needs to go test you know 14 750 14 8 but it did have a decent day today and you know we'll give it the benefit of the doubt for now it was a stronger sector in a weaker tape uh over to yields so yields continuing higher on the long end short end um was green a little bit here there's a two-year 5.125 remember 5.33 is the big level um, yield curve starting to normalize a little bit further so take a look at that. There's three month, 10 year, finally less than 100 basis points inverted. Um, fives and 30s, that's normalized. 10s and 30s is normalized. Twos and 10s, you know, still down 58 basis points, but trending in the right direction there. Um, but two year, you see there, nothing wrong with that. Same with the five. 10 year, um, this is acting well still on breakout. This can go higher. And the 30 year, I've got going up to at least right now, 4.75. So that's going to be kind of this pivot here from 98, a little bit of a pivot in 01, kind of a point of control for a few years. And then was like your last major pivot high right in this area, you know, maybe 4.8, 4 4.75, right? Going back to 2011. Um, we're not that far away. Can it overshoot? Yes. You put in a nice bullish pattern here. So it can overshoot in yields. Um, when they get going, they can tend to overshoot anyway. You also have to take into account this has been repressed for the last 40 years. So that spring is coiled and ready to pop, um, which it's doing. So I say 4.75, that could be higher. Just keep that in mind. But, you know, it is coming into a level that I think is interesting. Um, XHB here, that was green up 60 cents on the day. Nothing terrible. Again, if this goes sideways, though, it'll make this trend line minor and this little small consolidation period minor um could it retest 78.25 certainly can there's your gap breakaway gap trend line there um but that did get a bounce like everything else vnq again this is kind of my red flag right now as i talked about last week down seven cents in a market that bounced today something's wrong so real estate investment trusts are telling us that there's problems jnk i don't know guys does it look like commercial real estate's cracking to you it might be Junk bonds, high yield, LQD, new, what's that, a nine month low on LQD? Watch out. XLF green up nine cents. KBWB up 22 cents. KRE up 1.5. That actually went into a pretty decent support level there. KB, uh, KBE as well. Um, these are just short term supports though, but financials. Also on the weaker side, broker dealers, nice little tail candle there up 16 basis points. So trying to put it a higher low, I still would feel better about this at 480. Um, but nice little pop there. Uh, crude here, are kind of a nothing burger today, only down five cents. This is still, um, it's high on the hog, but I don't have a sell signal yet. This can still get into that mid 90 area. I can't fault you if you want to start a short position here, but I don't have a proprietary sell signal on it yet. Um, I would if we got up into that mid 90 area though um but crude still holding up we'll leave it at that xle got a nice pop today that's still acting well even though it pulled back xop back above the 50 ma so trying to hold that little pivot there from about a month ago so a nice bid there for xop and oih 
also a little outsized bid today. Um, not going to make too much out of those. Um, uranium here, CCJ, new 52-week highs, new 52-week closing high. We never closed above this topping tail, though, um, FYI. So technically, that's still not negated. Um, very interested to see where this closes tomorrow, if that gets saved. But CCJ having a big day, URNM, parabolic now, cannot chase it up here, up another 6%. Um, this is definitely in FOMO land here, but um, it's in an uptrend. URA coming into some resistance too. Just be aware of that. Um, that gas here, flat day. I won't make too much out of it. <clears throat> New contract rollover coming up soon. Um, that should put it up towards $3 very quickly. Um, I believe the new contract is sitting at like 2.9, 2.90. So it's going to be up there. But um, into that trend line still. Um, dollar index. Again, like yields did hit that 106 area and backed off the highs just a little bit. But it did start to curl back up by the end of the day. And now it's kind of rolling over just a little bit. So that probably that's probably why the market got a little bit of a bid towards the end of the day. But um, this can still get to like 106.50. Um, so there's some pivots here at 106. I've been talking about that. But this can still get up into this area. Just be aware of that. If you look on the weekly, that's kind of like right in that zone there. So maybe even an overshoot 106.75. Um, it is into resistance though. So just be aware of that. But um, it's holding up well. Maybe this level, I kind of have this hunch right now that 106.50 area coincides with 4.75 on the 30 year. So it could be something to watch there. Um, but dollar index, still strong. Um, gold here pulling back. Again, until it gets on either side of that wedge, I don't really care. <laughs> um, it's just tightening range. So we know that's tightening. Um, you break this, it's down to 19. You break this, it's up to 1980 possibly 2000 again very simple here but um and that range is getting tight so it's gonna have to pick pretty soon um silver here backing off as well down two percent on the day holding bears holding the 24 handle um on the downside you cannot take this pivot out on the upside we'll say 2450 for now um platinum backing off as well i still think that has to go lower palladium still needs to go lower and copper here a little bit on the softer side down 61 basis points Tacked that uh, wedge channel or lower trend line there the other day. Bounced, not the greatest bounce, and attacking it again. So again, if this goes sideways, you're going down. So I would be careful with copper here. Lastly, Bitcoin, that got hit pretty hard earlier. It did come decently off the lows though. Um, if we look on the intraday, took a pretty good dump in the overnight and then had a nice little dip by. That's holding up okay. Um, if you can put in a higher low, you can reattack this 50. I just don't love, as you guys know, I don't love the weekly. So that is not a good pattern there. Um, that's got a lot of work to do to shape that up. Um, but Bitcoin, hang it in there for now. All right, again, lastly, let's look at the spiders one more time here. So after hours are flat to positive. I wouldn't rule out a test of 434 tomorrow. But again, this right now to me looks like it's just you know, I'm looking at a two hour here um, and it just looks like they're cooling off that RSI. I don't really see this doesn't look like a V shape. It doesn't look like an impulsive low. And um, the longer we stay, uh, basically bears, all they have to do is just keep it down in this range and just keep it sideways. If they do that. Um, you could set up a bear pattern for a possible move down. And again, originally, you know, I thought this trend line was pretty good support. But if they consolidate it here, you can slice through that. And then we could talk about 420. Um, I know a lot of people right now are looking at this ES gap and you're into a little zone here. But if you go sideways, they can make that gap minor. So just be aware of that. Um, but right now, I think bears are, are in control until proven otherwise as per last week's close, um, weekly closing pivot breakdown. Um, but right now, maybe they bounce this up a little bit more. Um, you'd really have to, to change my mind. You'd really have to get through this gap window here. Um, and that 100 moving average there on the SPY. And then we could talk about possible further upside levels. But until then, um, this just looks like bearish consolidation until proven otherwise. So anyways, guys, going to wrap it up here. You guys take care. Come find me on carnivaltrades.com. I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow.